it always comes back to what gets measured gets managed and what gets measured should be defined on your goals. Your goals determine what you track. And if you don't have a clear sense of what you're tracking, you're just flying blind when it comes to what you're going to do. If we kind of zoom out for people who are trying to think about how they implement these diet strategies, if someone wants to track and their goal is to improve body composition, what baseline metrics matter and how would you like to see them tracked over time? Yeah, body composition is a very easy one to track, right? A DEXA scan will give you everything you need to know. You're going to see body fat, visceral fat, and lean mass. And what about if someone's goal is to improve their metabolic health? So a typical blood draw, you're going to get a metabolic panel. You're going to see a fasting insulin, fasting glucose, hemoglobin A1C, maybe a fructose. What about people who are trying to address symptoms? So whether it's digestive symptoms, autoimmune issues that you talked about earlier, even things like energy or sleep. So begin with a hypothesis, right? Note that that these sets of symptoms are related to this food sensitivity and then remove the foods that would feed into that and track the symptoms. One thing we haven't talked about yet, but we did see a lot of questions on is a quote unquote anti-inflammatory diet. Sometimes that shows up in symptoms, bloating, indigestion, headaches, joint pain, brain fog. The problem is these are not specific to inflammation um, and you can have those symptoms for totally unrelated reasons. Perfect. So let's roll into it. So regardless of what diet you're following, what do you think are the non-negotiables that people should remember when it comes to any diet, any food they're consuming? 